He'd been dead for days, and police say many people knew about it, but they left his body in his apartment. Detectives say the victim in the city's latest homicide knew the man accused of killing him very well. News 13's David Romero is live in the Newsplex with the story. David? My 30-year-old James Young III is charged with an open count of murder. He was arrested yesterday after police received a tip from a city bus driver. Two of the driver's passengers knew about the body and asked the bus driver what they should do. He told them he would take care of it and call police. Police contacted the manager at the Warren Sandia Apartments. They sent a security guard to check on the man in the unit. The resident's body was found lying face down on the floor. According to the criminal complaint, a friend of Young's told police he confessed to her that he was in the victim's apartment early Monday morning where the two engaged in a sex act. James said he, quote, put the victim in a sleeper hold. He also said he was worried he may have killed him. The friend also told police Young asked her to steal, help steal items from the victim's apartment. When police questioned Young's girlfriend, she said she and Young were both in the victim's apartment drinking early Monday morning. She left, but Young went later, later went back. The next day, she noticed new items in their apartment. In Young's confession to police, he relayed the same story, but said he had gone back the second time to rob the place. He said the victim rubbed his leg and Young offered him a massage. That's when Young said he put the victim in a sleeper hold, threw him to the ground, and said he'd kill him. Young said he didn't have any intention of killing the victim, only stealing from him. He also said he stole the items because he was upset that the victim thought he was gay. Mike, back to you. All right, David, the Office of the Medical Examiner still has not determined exactly how the unidentified victim died.